With the prompt to create a walking legged robot with eight servo motors, I sketched out some concepts for a quadruped cat robot. The leg assembly is composed of two servos connected to a thigh and a calf. The baseboard contains all the electronics including the computer, battery, and fan. Some parts were split in half to be within the 3D printer size for manufacturability. The shell, legs, head, and tail all attach onto the baseboard. I first assembled an Ender 3D printer and used it to print all the parts for the robot. I initially ran into some first layer adhesion problems but I resolved that by printing all parts with a raft. And then I removed the support material for some parts, including the baseboard linkage, the tail, and the head. I connected the 12 volt battery to a power converter that outputs six volts, and then connected that to the servo controller hardware and then to the servo motors. Then I assembled one leg by attaching a servo to the thigh and one to the calf, and then put a sign set point through both. You can see my surprise when it worked the first time. Then I tested with two legs simultaneously. To use M2 screws on plastic, I heat set some copper threaded inserts into the baseboard using a solder. Then I attached the two baseboard pieces together and assembled all the electronics into place. My initial baseboard linkage didn't constrain the two baseboard pieces very well, so I reprinted a better design. I attached the leg assemblies onto the baseboard. I smoothened the base of the head with a dremel and hot glued it onto the shell. The shell initially conflicted with some cabling due to not accounting for a big enough bend radius in CAD, so I reorganized the electronics in the design and reprinted the baseboard. This time, the shell doesn't conflict as it is velcroed into place. I painted some liquid rubber onto the feet to prevent slipping while walking. And this is the cat bot fully assembled. I first tried to develop the walking gait manually by defining a trajectory for the feet and then using inverse kinematics to define the motor angles. This resulted in a walking motion with instabilities, as seen by the robot tipping backwards and only reached a slow gait of 2 cm per second. To improve the speed, I simulated the robot in a physics environment to search for the optimal gait. To simulate the robot, I defined a URDF file with all major linkages and joints in the robot. Then I imported this into the PyBullet gem environment and simulated some sinusoidal gates that performed better than the manually tuned gate. Unfortunately, the power converter burned right before making this video, so I wasn't able to try the better gate from simulation on the real robot. Future improvements include defining a cost function based on the center of gravity and XY position of the robot, and doing a search in the simulation through various sinusoidal parameters to get the best speed.
Thanks for watching.